Everybody. Hi, everybody. What day is today? Is today Thursday? Today is Thursday, and you know what? I'm optimistic that it's gonna be a great week. She's very optimistic. I'm optimistic, <laughs> I'm an optimist today. Uh, I'm actually wearing our Today Special. Half of it. Ha I'm wearing half of our Today Special. You are, you are, because you get two of those. Don't you yeah. get two shirts? You, you get, get two, two shirts, right? one has a great little message on it, right. and then the other one is plain. They're actually made out of bamboo fiber. Have you ever oh. felt bamboo fiber? It's so Ooh. soft yeah, and yeah, luxurious. Yeah, so soft. And you, so you get two, like you were saying, with great little messages on them, like bonjour is the chambray, and white dreamer is this beautiful pale pink and uh, comes with a heather gray shirt. Happy um, says one. I think it says choose happy, actually, yeah. on seafoam. Optimus, that's the one I'm wearing. And then hello, sunshine. That's me. Hello, that's what uh, you yeah, would that's me. choose. Hello, sunshine. Is that's that the one you would choose? I would choose hello, sunshine. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> I like it. That one's cute, though, because yeah. you're wearing it out, and you're like, hello. You're just like saying hello, well, sunshine, to everybody. It's it's happy. Like you know what I mean? And, and you yeah. should be happy as we uh, as we enter into our uh, our big Easter weekend, right? I think so too. This will make you happy because it's basically like twenty dollars per shirt what? that you can wear out. You can wear uh, lounging around. You could. They're even so comfortable that you can sleep in them, and they're moisture wicking, so they keep you cool. They're comfortable. I'm gonna give you a little show. Look at they go all the way down to your um, under that you know, trouble spot on your upper arms, so you're gonna be able to wear them all through the spring and summer and fall as well. All right, well, Guy has got some great home solutions for us, so what you got, Guy? Well, Miss Shannon, uh, this is all about kind of home solutions and handy uh, helpers, and I will tell you, um, you wanna talk about handy. <laughs> this first item that we have, literally, is one of the coolest things you'll ever see. Uh, it's just goes to show you that, uh, you know, big things come in small packages, and that's what this is. It's called the palm screwdriver. Have you ever, like, looked in that little junk drawer for the right screwdriver for a job? You know when you need, like, the smaller one or the bigger one, or you need a different type of bit, and you're like, oh, where is everything? You seem to have your screwdrivers all over the house. House. Well, this is 14 screwdrivers in one. It's like having a toolbox in your hand. This little guy really packs a punch and everything fits right in here. It's the neatest thing you've ever seen. So basically you've got a nice big giant grip to give you lots of torque and then all the bits are hidden inside. Linda Lyde is here. Hi. And boy, you always come up uh, and bring us the coolest items to, to fix up our house. Uh, and and I, this, is, this is just neat because Re really the size cool. of it. I know. So how many of you have, now I have so many toolboxes, <laughs> I, I have that. so many tools, right? but I had a kitchen drawer that has all these until recently. Now I get rid of everything. I've organized that kitchen drawer. Now I can put more stuff in it because I have the palm screwdriver. Look at this. Now all I have to do is I just Literally, look at this, garage just door. all the way open. Yep. And I have 14 different kinds of bits and I have this bit extension, right? So now let me just show you how wonderful this is because not only do you have 14 bits, you have this uh, extension, but it also ratchets and I love that. Yeah. Now a short profile is quite good. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, this fits right into the palm of your hand like this, right? So when you're working on something, you can really bear down. If you remember, you know, these little screwdrivers here, look at the head on here, right? Look at that. It's very small. And when you put this in the palm of your hand, you're ouch, right? right? And then it can slip out because it's so long. True. This is what's great. Now, let me just show you how nice this is. Okay. Let me, let's, let's say I want to like take this out and I'm going to use the ratcheting part and I can stay right there because I have this rubberized groove. This handle is grooved, so my hands, my fingers go right in place. All I do is I just put the pressure down That's and awesome. I unscrew it like this. Mm -hmm. Now, think about all the different kinds of things this is good for. How about your kitchen cabinets? Mm -hmm. How about the Swedish uh, furniture place that has all those different kinds? Yeah. Wouldn't that be great if you just had one tool and now you have that? Now, now look, we also have this, if you can come up on tight on this 
See this? That's still this, a little hex pit Those things. are the, yeah. okay. Now, how many of you have this and you're fishing around? Oh gosh, which <laughs> one is that? On your Allen wrench, right? This fits right in there. And again, I can just put this in here and now I can just unscrew it. And what's great is when a, when a screw like this is really tight, Right. Look how I can just like really yeah. grab, like a, a handle, a, like a knob. Great, you get great torque with that, you really do. Ergonomically correct, yeah. okay? So if you have any kind of arthritis, hand issue, or if you're just like, you're feeling like, hey, I'm not all that handy. This is just, it's foolproof. It's it, so easy. I like everything is under one roof too, exactly. exactly. So when you're doing jobs, you know, when you're putting things together and, and you've got different bits that you need or different size bits, it's so great. And if you look at the front of the table, Linda has them laid all out right here so you can get an, a, an idea I mean you've got three uh, regular flathead screwdriver bits right there right. and you can see all the Phillips uh, uh, tips that you've got there uh, there's the extender all your different bits different sizes it's gonna fit any job in the house and that's what makes this so great is no more searching for the right screwdriver the right screwdriver is always in your hand exactly. <laughs> it's always there and you can adjust and pop them out easily but honestly as Linda said you know one of the biggest issues to have especially if our for our senior friends out there is getting the, the strength and the torque to open these these tough old screws and when you can put your whole hand on it and push right. down versus trying to turn it sideways which is what a regular screwdriver does to your screwdriver handle exactly it makes all the difference in the world and it can get into the tightest places it can and I love this first of all I actually work on my car and one of the bits that is on here is one of those specialty bits now you get three of the different kinds of star mm -hmm. bits there this star bit here right here and if you've ever done any decking here take a look right here okay this a lot of times you'll see this in the automotive and you'll go oh my gosh do i have that well yes you'll have it in your palm screwdriver and all you do is you fit it over like this now one of the things i want to also show you is this collar right here when i put on my collar and this just fits right on like that now when look I, and look at this when i bring this collar down, it releases it. And to put it in, I go like this, and what's nice about that, I can't take it out like that. Okay, so it's not gonna fall out on me, and yeah. I can't stand it when that happens. Look Looks at all, easy. I want you to look <laughs> at all the different screws that yes. we're able to uh, to tighten and, and to untighten, all these different things. It's only a $20 bills gang, our uh, bill gang. Hey, when is Father's Day? That's coming up, isn't that eventually coming up? Coming up pretty soon. Anyway, Linda, thank you. Great job. Thank you. As always, short but sweet, but we got a lot of people that are picking that up. It's such a great idea. And by the way, if you don't have, like we said, if you don't have a toolbox, now you got a toolbox right in your hand. If you want to get that for $9.95, well, <clears throat> I know Shanna's got a whole bunch of these uh, gift card things that, you know, that you can sign up for. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this is actually the charge card, but she's got an inside, so she's going to get you $10 off if you get an H10 credit card, which I think... Yeah is phenomenal less than twenty dollars so grab it i guess yeah, I gotta, tell them you know me go. when you tell them you know me and they'll yeah. give you ten dollars off with your hsn card. that'll be good <laughs> all right ah uh, if only i were that important um all right well now it's time to share an american dreams item and american dreams is our ongoing search for america's next great entrepreneurs take a look I grew up always dreaming and wanting to create things. I see something and I see that we can make it better. One day, the light bulb just went off. Nobody has this. They're waiting for me to invent it. Next thing you know, you're on HSN and the whole world's hearing about it. It just sold out. You are a perfect example of dreams oh coming God. true. Well, this next item, the Premier Lights, they're not your usual bulbs. These are lights with a big difference. They work without electricity. So the president and founder of Premier Products, he's Cody Grandadam. He started his first business in fifth grade. I keep telling my son, you gotta get on the stick. Um, you're already in seventh grade. Um, he's always had an entrepreneurial spirit and after a literal light bulb moment, Get it? Um, when combining magnets with light bulbs, Cody created his company, Promere, bringing you the best in wireless lighting solutions. And Matt Davis is here to show us how incredible you can use this every single day, never having to plug in a light bulb. And this actually comes with the batteries as well. You put them anywhere. This is the beauty of Promere. These are Cobb LEDs. These are the latest and greatest type of LED that just sip electricity. There's no wiring required. The batteries even come with this and you're getting a two pack today. You're the first people to see this here on HSN. Take a look at this. This is machined aluminum. So this is a solid metal casing on the outside. 
Then uh, here's the light. Uh, now, now brace yourselves. Look at how super, super bright that is. That's great. That is like blowing out the camera. It's so bright. And now you can place these anywhere. These are really um, initially designed as under cabinet lights so that you can put them underneath the cabinets. You place push one button, you have the light when and where you need it the most. There we go, we're dropping the lights to show you. Then if you want it a little bit dimmer and you just want an accent light, something that you want to put on underneath the cabinets, just to throw a little bit of light on the subject, you can do that. Now there's an extra feature, a couple extra features here I want to show you. One is there's a peel and stick uh, disc here that comes with it. You peel and stick this disc. So if you have wooden cabinets, you can use a magnet to place it. So I'll show you that more in a moment, but it's a great, it's grab and go, so you can place it. You can make it semi-permanent if you like. Then if you want to take this with you, this will go on a car. Watch this. Here's an extra feature. Watch this. In an emergency, this turns into an SOS. It's doing dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. That's an emergency. So think about when the power outages, those summer storms that are coming up, or winter storms, when we had our hurricanes, you have light when and where you need it the most, plus you have that extra feature of the SOS built in. How great that. is that? And look at how, how sleek and simple that is. So all you do is literally stick the magnet on yes. and then you can remove it whenever you want. Or if, exactly you're, right. if you're attaching it to maybe, there you go, like a power box like yep. that, it, all, you don't, all you do is just use the magnet that's already up already on That's it. it. I, I made the mistake of flipping this around while it was on and shining myself <laughs> in the face. These are really Amazingly powerful bright. lights. Yep. Cob lights just sip electricity. It comes with the batteries already included, AAA batteries. And here's how great and sleek it is. It's about a foot long. These are the jumbos and they are completely wireless. So this is your solution. If you thought, I need I need lighting under that cabinet, I need it in the bathroom, I need it um, inside the pantry, or really any place that you thought about hiring an electrician, $24.95 gets you two, and you can actually put it on flex. So for $12.48, you're getting two. They're a, a really substantial yeah. weight as yeah, well. Yeah, they're not and, plastic. Yeah, these, and, are, these are metal. And maybe with Promere, you saw the other lights that they have. Yep, absolutely. Um, these are the jumbos. So these really are about 12 inches long. Long. under cabinet lighting under is so cabinet expensive lighting. Yep. now and really very luxe yeah if you have if you have a uh, cabinets new cabinets and you want to put lights in mm. you have to have it wired and all that now I know some of you are saying well there's a magnet on the back well what happens if there's if I want to place it like on tile or if I want to place it on a wood cabinet well here's where that little disc comes in I want to show you the disc has 3m tape sticky tape so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna peel and I'm gonna stick, and now you have that metal surface, now you've put that metal surface onto the tile, uh, and now the magnet works on there. How great is that? that? And it's not destroying the so tile, smart. so you can remove that Look as well, because it was just that really strong sticky tape. I love it. Now if you wanna take this, this light can stay wherever you wanna put place it, or if you need it in an emergency and you need to grab a, grab a light, uh, take it into the next room, you wanna take it out uh, to uh, walk the dog at night, you can grab and go. How smart is that? This is Cody, this is the great inventor that, I mean, I don't know how, how the brain works on these kind of guys. <laughs> but, but these are great because not only is it magnetic, there's also the uh, keyholes on the back. So if you want to oh, use, sure. just put a couple nails in a wall or something, you can use that as well. I'm going to go over to the cabinet here. Yeah, I want to show you. Yeah, we got a giant cabinet yeah, here. Yeah, look at that. I want to show you what we're doing here. If we could drop the lights a little bit, I want you to see. When you're looking inside this cabinet, imagine at home, you're looking inside the cabinet and you're saying, well, you know, I can't, you know, this is what happens at night or whatever. It's super, super dark inside. Watch this. I've got one light, one of the lights inside. Holy cow, Look you can that. read everything. You can see everything. You can read everything. It's all right there where you need it the most. And here's where it is. It's tucked up underneath. See that? Look at that. How smart is that? Look how super, super bright that is. It brings light right to the right to where you need it and when you need it. This is what Promere is all about. You can mount them. You can take them anywhere. Uh, there's that magnetic. We put that disc, that uh, sticky tape disc on there. And then you can also mount them on the side if you want. Remember, you're getting two of these. These are the super uh, jumbo size 
first time ever anywhere, first time ever on HSN right now. I like that idea of having them in a drawer as well because drawers, yep. drawers don't come with lighting, but nope. of course that's, you know, you're always looking for something in that drawer. Maybe it's in your bathroom, maybe it's in the kitchen. Um, and because these are removable, because they're completely portable, you can move them anywhere you need them and they have a magnet on the back. So you can affix them if you want the permanent, you can put them on the nails, mm -hmm. but they have that magnet and not just to use on mag on metallics, but they come with that sticky magnet, so you can really put these anywhere, whether it's tile or or you know whatever it is. Like if I wanted to stick it on the outside of my cabinet, Absolutely. I could Up with no something. damage whatsoever. Sure. You can use this anywhere. Twelve dollars and forty-eight cents. And what you're seeing is not the brand new. Premier is not brand new to us here. They've been, they're fairly new, but these are the new jumbos. So the jumbo is almost a foot long and about an inch deep, an inch and a quarter deep. So they really will fit any, I didn't realize that. that because it's on a magnet, yeah. you can, you can, you can swivel move it, it all you around. You can turn it any they're which way you anywhere. want. You can place it anywhere. I love it. Cody, you know, they put the magnet on here because it's that grab and go technology where you can place it anywhere, but when you need to take light, portable light, you don't need to go looking for a flashlight uh, it, with a power outage. I would put one, see, there it is right there on a mm. wooden cabinet. You put that little disc on there and now it becomes um, a, a semi permanent, I call it. Yeah. But you can take it with you anywhere. I love it for the fuse box because when the mm -hmm. power goes out first place you go you go to the fuse box and you're like okay where do I you know what's going on which fuse burn out well now you can see it so easy so well, so simple and see how bright it is this is Cobb LED so this is the latest technology in LED which means it's really cool to the touch and super bright well, if you right. would, uh, honestly we literally could like light up our entire studio so, Ooh, let's look at some beauty look lighting in here that would make it great for even if you just need some up lighting in your bathroom or you wanted to put one of these on each side of your bathroom oh. mirror this would be great lighting look for at you how bright those and are. then you can use them as I mean you really could use these as a flashlight alternative that actually can be used other times you're not using that flashlight to light underneath your cabinets not hardly this um, is the most versatile lighting so versatile. from Promere and remember you're getting two you're not just getting one of these you're getting two and you're getting the batteries included because mm. Promere always gives you the batteries so right out of the box you're ready to go I love it and this is all you're going to do, you're just going to push that little button right there in the center, and they are giving you incredible light. I love it, too. No tools required I love to it. assemble. Just peel and stick. Thank you so much, Matt Davis. Thank you very much. Great Have solutions. a lovely day. Please thank, thank the American Dreams Adventure for us as well. All right, guys, got some great new uh, other solutions for us. Hey, guys. Hey, Shannon. Yes, uh, you know, I, I can probably say without even thinking about it that one of the worst jobs that you can have in the house is when you get a clogged drain or a clogged toilet. I should say that's probably the worst job. I know whenever there's a clogged toilet and Danny has in his room, he tells me. I'm like, dude, why don't you take care of that yourself? Nobody wants to do it. But let me tell you, watch people line up and volunteer when they get the Magna Tools air pressure drain blaster. This is the, I'll tell you, it's actually a fun way to be able to blast the drains clear, you know, rather than sitting there with you, you know, by hand and trying to pump the thing a hundred times. You give this a couple of pumps, you pop it in the hole, you hit the button, bang, it just blasts it right out. You pump, you place, you blast. It's that easy. My good friend Luke Caputo's here. And by the way, uh, you know what I love? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. I, I love the kit because you've, you got Comprehensive. every Everything. possible drain, right? Right. Well, here, so here's how this works, okay? Yeah, show me. Just like a bicycle pump, you just pump the bottom of this, okay? And right. it's the ecologically friendly way to unclog any drain because we use air. Air pressure builds up in the cylinder right here. I pull this trigger. Air comes out of the end. That simple. Now, how do you get it in the drain? You just place it in like this, but we give you a variety of tips. Take a look at what you're getting here in this kit, and this is why we say it's so comprehensive. So you're getting two different size rubber tips right here, depending on the size of your drain. Any drain in the house, kitchen drain, bathrooms, yeah. it doesn't matter. Then we give you the two wide mouths down here for your bathtubs, mud rooms, and then you've got the toilet one over here. Plus, we've added a snake to this. So now you can get hair out of the drain as well. But let me show you how this works, because that's really the proof from the pudding yeah. here, okay? Because this is the easiest way that you will ever unclog a drain. And like I said, I don't care what kind of drain it is at all. It doesn't matter. You're gonna be able to use this, be it in the kitchen, be it in the yeah. bathroom, it doesn't matter, okay? And look at that, there's that new attachment we talked about, the snake that fits in there. Right. So you just put that inside <laughs> of the drain and it's gonna pull out any hair that's down there. All right, so let me show you real quick how this works, okay? okay. We've already 
created a clog down this drain. By the way, we have glass pipes. You probably don't have glass pipes at home, but we have we them. We want here. you to see when what's you, happening. Yeah, we want you to see what's right. happening. So when you look down there, you're gonna see we've got hair inside the drain. Actually, I'm on the other drain. We've got hair inside, we've got hair, I'm over here. We've That's got okay. hair inside, we've got uh, paper in here, we've got a salad inside of this, all kinds of things inside the pipe right. there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little water down this. Now, I've got food coloring in this water, just a little bit of green food coloring. There's nothing in here, no chemicals. That's just water, okay? So that's your backup in the drain. I take my Magna Air Pressure drain blaster. I'm gonna put it inside the drain, and you make sure you got a good seal around the top, okay? Right. Push down, and then you're gonna pull the trigger. Three, two, one, <laughs> drain's gone. Look at that. Now, wow. notice, that didn't go all the way out. So what am I gonna do? Am I gonna panic? No. I'm gonna take my drain blaster. Well, I'm gonna give right. it a couple pumps. You know why I can do this? Because it's reusable, and air is free, okay? I'm I gonna stick that. it down the drain. Okay. Watch this now. Here's that clog and it's gone, just like that. <laughs> See how cool that was? Awesome. And you can use this over and over and over again. Here's how it works, okay? You pump the handle, yeah. the pressure builds up in that cylinder. It's actually more pressure than in a car tire. When you pull the trigger, shoots that air down the drain. And remember, it's totally safe for your drains because yeah. there's no chemicals, there's nothing caustic in here, and there's no work involved. And when I say that, I mean like, when you use the plunger or anything like that, there's a lot of exercise right. with a plunger. There's none with this. Now I'm making another clog in the drain, yep. and what I'm doing here is, we've already stuck a paper towel down there. Right. I'm sticking in a little bit more of the salad mix that we have. I'm gonna pour a little coffee in just for good measure because that could be kind of annoying And too. this is all stuff that you probably will get in your drain at your sink. Absolutely. I wanted to remind everybody, Lou, this works on any drain pretty any much in, drain your house. in your so house. If you've got the mudroom that's got the little, you know, that sink in there that, that you know, you use for, uh, you know, watering plants and all that stuff, or if yeah. you've got uh, a drain, uh, you know, at your sink or in the bathroom or a toilet or in your shower, this will work on every single one of those drains. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stick that back down there. We've already got our clog. You can see the water's backed up. Watch this. Three, two, one. Clog goes away. That quick and easy. I mean, and that's the cool thing about that's this. Awesome. There's no waiting. Come on over here. I want to show you some of the methods we've tried before, okay? For instance, you know, we've all tried these different chemicals. And if I turn these yeah. around, just real quick, if you look at the back here, lots of fine print, lots of small stuff, things in red, things in yellow. That's generally bad, okay? Poisons, caustic, chemicals. You got to pour them down the drain. You got to wait. smell horrific. Right? And yeah. you got to wait and hope, fingers crossed, that they're going to work. With the drain blaster, you can see it. Now, this guy right here, when you use a regular plunger, okay, especially in a toilet, the water moves. That's yeah. a little unsettling, especially right. you know, when, you, when you've got a backed up toilet. But here's the other thing I like to show people. This cup right here is all the air you're ever gonna move with this plunger. Right. Look at the size of the cylinder on the Magna Tools drain blaster. When you look at that, that's the amount of air pressure you're shooting down. A big, big difference. This is just a real gradual, work intensive process. Right. This is one pull of a trigger. Yeah, and this thing also pulls the mess usually back up. Back up the, to you. <laughs> which nobody, nobody wants, wants to that. deal with. No. But you know, Lou, what, like you said, what do we do though? Because there are certain things like in, in my drain, especially, kit, especially bathroom sinks sure. where you get hair and stuff like that, and, and that stuff you. just does not want to come out. This is a good question. Let me yeah. show you what we do with that. Because we also give you the drain snake, and people look at this, they're like, well, what am I, first of all, it's very flexible. So this is gonna go around all the curves inside your pipes, okay? Very, very simple. Has a little brush on the end of it. Now, here's how you use it. We've got some hair down this drain. So, it, and you know, what happens with drains and hair is that over time, I'm gonna stick it down there, I'm gonna give it a couple twists, and what it's doing is it's catching that hair. Now, watch this, how easily I can pull that out. Look at that. Ooh. So over time, you know, as you're washing your hair in yeah. your bathroom or anything like that, that hair gets down into that sink. It gets stuck in the pipes. And then all of a sudden, all your conditioners, your shampoos and everything gets all clogged up in <laughs> this. And that causes that big clog. So sometimes it's caught on the parts of the drain inside. You can't get rid of it. That, it's just right. going to come back over and over and, and over and again. And that's when, when you have a slow moving drain. Yeah, when that you have a slow drain. usually because what's happening is it's impinging the drain. It's making it smaller and smaller. 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 And what happens too is if anything, like you said, Lou, with like the, you know, hair stuff and, <clears throat> and lotions and all stuff is like glue. Right. It sits inside the pipe and then the hair gets caught and then it just thins it out. This enables you to get it. I know it's disgusting to pull it out, but on the bright side, it's probably your hair. Yeah. So don't feel so <laughs> bad about that or your kids or whatever, hopefully. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But what I love about what uh, Magnatools does is they're attacking it from every angle. So yep. if you have a traditional clog, 
and you can't get it unclogged, uh, you need to try this. And, and uh, Lou, I've tried, there's an industrial one that comes in a bottle like this, yep. where you pour it in and it actually smoke comes out of the drain. And I'm thinking, okay, so I'm using some kind of caustic yeah, acid. That's gonna hurt your to pipes. melt stuff away. Not exactly. only that. Exactly. My, you know, I don't have a, you know, I have an interior bathroom, so there's no window. The smell is awful. It's, it's horrible. It's melting away. But, okay. Nasty so, stuff. While you were talking, I made a clog, okay? I've already pumped this up about five, 10 times. It doesn't matter how many times you pump it up because you can do it over and over. But watch this. I'm going to stick it in there. I pull the trigger. The clog's gone. That is insane. I mean, it's, and that was two paper towels and a bunch of salad that was in there. That's probably worse than any drain look clog the, you're ever going to have. Look at how it's smoking. It's in there. smoking. That's, that's the, comp the compacted air. air. When, when yep. you compact it, it turns into a little cloud. Exactly. It's all good. Don't worry about it. But that's the well, amount of pressure that you get when you use the the air blaster and remember to lose point when you use a regular plunger you've only got a little pocket of air about that about that big yeah and that's what you're trying to push that stuff through right and you have to physically pump that thing you know 10 12 times even then you don't know if you're going to get it and you wind up pulling a lot of the mess back into the sink right with what lou does it's look one shot look at all i'm putting down there too yeah and this is nasty this is stuff you might go especially if you don't have a disposal right it's going to back up well and here's the thing too there's some folks out there that get into their shower and they end up taking a bath because that water just backs up to your knees. Here's the thing, if that's what's happening to you, you can use this once a month, once a week, however often you need to, to give yourself a maintenance blast down the drain and help keep it clean. Because with uh, chemicals, you don't want to do that. You don't want to constantly be putting chemicals down your drain, but air's fine, air's free, air's not gonna hurt the pipes. So you can actually use this for a maintenance blast if you've got a slow drain that just keeps backing up no matter what you do. So watch what I'm gonna do now, okay? Now I'm gonna pump this up. Now, for some of you out there, you may not be able to pump it up 10 times. That's fine. If you can only do five, then shoot it twice. It doesn't matter. Right. It's absolutely fine. However many times you can do it. So I pumped that up about 10 times. I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to make sure it has a firm seal. I'm going to push down, and then when I pull that trigger, the clog's gone. I mean, it's that fast, and it's it's really instant so cool. gratification. And don't forget, you're getting the parts you need to do any size drain in the house. I mean, yeah. we're giving you pieces that I've never even seen before some of these to before today. Look at right. this. And these are all the different fixtures. So obviously if you have toilets, you know, that's the big plunger and that's the big issue. And honestly, you know, you want that toilet job to go by as quickly as possible. Right. You don't want to deal with that. So you have two different sizes for that. If you've got the shower drain, you yep. know, whatever. Uh, it and now some of us have a small, little smaller hole in the sink or a sure. larger one. You have both those as well. This is the actual unit itself. And basically what this is, is this is a little air chamber. And when we compress the air, it stays in and then we release it. And that's, uh, that's all the pressure you need to push right. that thing down. That's it. And then this little snake, I'm telling you, the little snake it may is look cool. like a little thing, but it's a big deal because a lot of people, that's, that. they have a slow moving drain. Right. And then eventually it'll clog easier. So you can it use, starts backing you up. You can kind of get a one, two punch. Right. Well, and, and sometimes in the drains are things that catch the hair. Okay. And this will actually go down there. Watch yeah, what I'm going to do. Like We've got a little hair in there. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like a toothbrush for the drain. I'm going to stick the snake in there. It's nice and long too. It's going to go all the way down there. Once I feel like I've hit something, I'm going to go to a couple of twists and watch the way it just pulls all that out of there. And it's a little bit on the gross side, but you know what? You're gonna be so satisfied when you actually clean that drain yourself and get that hair out of there. And all of a sudden you just see that water flowing. Yeah. And you're not calling a plumber. And this is the big deal, because yeah. you absolutely could call a plumber to do something like this, but this is something that you could do yourself and you should be doing. And let me tell you, this the money you'll save on this. Oh, yeah. You know what a plumber costs to come to your house? I'll tell you, it's a minimum of $100. They will not come out for anything less. Uh, or they'll say, well, you don't have to pay us, but then you're going to have, you have to have this fixed. So you can just throw that in. Right. Uh, <laughs> and, and let me tell you, this is the way to do it. And if you have to have something snaked, it's even more money. Oh, yeah. So do it yourself. That's what this show is all about. It's about empowering yourself to be able to do some of these easy fixes. And a drain is really not a big deal. No. Nope. If you just have the right tools. And Lou will show you. We'll do one last uh, thing. Yeah, look at that. We're going so we're running out of time. Pour the water not, in there. You're not going anywhere. We have our pest repellers coming up in just a bit. We got a couple exciting. of things coming up. We got a lot. Lou's got a lot going on. Okay, today so give it okay. a couple quick pumps right here. Do it, Lou. And remember, air is free, so you can use this over and over and over again for years. Watch this. Three, two, one. Pull the trigger. That gone. so awesome. Clog is gone. At, and, and you get to fire a gun down the thing. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good fun. thing. <laughs> it is. And it, well, and I love the fact that you can use it over and over and over yes. and over. And it looks a little more sanitary than the other way to a do it, too. A lot more. All right, $27.95. Lou's not going anywhere because we have our eight-pack of pest repellers. Love it. That's the one I own, the original. Yeah. Uh, my whole house is covered. We're going to show you how you can get rid of the spiders and the ants and the rats and the roaches and all those nasty things. Now, let's get off that topic and let's talk about <laughs> what Shannon's got for you.
Nothing to do with rats or nasties and in, um, in drains. We've got the list with Colleen Lopez. So if you are ready for everything that is the latest fashion, you're going to want to tune in tonight. Got to watch Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tonight's show is all about stylish, comfortable pieces like our today's special. There you can see we're launching Soft and Cozy's loungewear. She's got Soft and Cozy, Diane Gilman jeans, and Colleen has always got the latest HSN exclusives, brand new items, and even a TS sneak peek for you from something that's coming up so definitely tune in to see her tonight at 9 Eastern I always tune in I'm gonna get my today special this morning but um, but tune in to see her and um, okay Speaking of, Guy was talking about rats and mice and everything, but th he's going to get rid of them all right now, right, Guy? I am. We're going to do it very easily. I didn't mean to scare you, Shannon, because Shannon doesn't like rats and mice. And she doesn't. Like, nah, it's true. She doesn't. Do you, have, you guys don't have it even like gerbils, do you? I'm, like, like that's a weird thing. Like, I'm the only one who doesn't like rats and mice. Yeah, it's just her. Know? She's so weird. Shannon. Right? Also, Shannon. I like to sleep at night, and I like chocolate. All right, that's where no. you go. I'm so weird right. like that. All right, I'll let you guys go. All right, go, go away now. Yeah, I got All right, so... That's our Shannon, our Shannon <laughs> repeller. I just plugged in my Shannon repeller. All right. <laughs> we love Shannon. All right, so I, love, I want you to take a look at that. Yep. I don't need to live with that. Okay, Gross. I do not need that in my house. Uh, rats, mice, roaches, ants, spiders mm -hmm. belong outside. They do. They are outdoor they little critters. And let me tell you this, too, really quickly. <laughs> I don't need to kill them all because no. guess what? I could spend a bazillion years trying to kill things that were here a bazillion years before, before you and before I was on the planet. You, yes. And so my job is not to kill critters. I don't want to do that. No. But I sure as heck don't want to cohabitate with them. When you get this configuration, you will cover your entire house. This yeah. is our eight pack of ultrasonic from, from, our, from our friends at uh, Bell & Howell, our ultrasonic pest repellers. Mm -hmm. All you do is you plug them in your outlet. Instantly, there's no downtime. There's no nope. waiting for chemicals to take effect. Nope. There's no waiting for rats to eat poison. Immediately, it creates an environment that none of these creatures want to live in. I'm talking right. about mice. Mm -hmm. Talking about rats, Lou. Mm -hmm. Ants, roaches, and my bane is spiders. Because I've been bitten by spiders. I had one crawl across they my do forehead damage. in a hotel. You told me that. I, story. I oh, my that. Lord. So anyway, and then, of course, cockroaches is number two on the list because I was in the restaurant business for 20 years. So right. I spent half my, my career trying to eliminate cockroaches from a restaurant or two restaurants. So this is the way to do it in one yeah. easy, one it's easy shot. Easy way. Eight pack, which I love right. because upstairs, downstairs, whole basement, home. garage. Whole home kit. Whole home kit. Well, and what I love about this is, yes, you're getting eight pieces. It is the whole home kit. It's enough to do the upstairs and downstairs. Don't forget the attic, the basement, and the garage. But you should have plenty for that. These are the basic models, but that's all you need. They use ultrasonic sound waves to repel pests. Now, what in the world does that mean? It means basically it's a sound at a higher frequency than human beings can hear. So you won't hear it, your kids won't hear it, but your pets won't hear it either. Your dogs, your cats, they're not gonna know these are there. But the rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, the spiders, they know that these are there. Now we don't know what it sounds like to them. We just know that it's disorienting, it's annoying, it could sound like a, a siren or fingernails on a chalkboard, we're not sure. But it makes them wanna leave the environment where they're plugged in. Right. And that's the like thing, it. you made a great point about that. All you do is just plug these into any two-prong outlet, okay? Just plug them in and they start working immediately. And when they start working, the sound that comes out of these is going to echo off of every solid surface in the room. And that's why we tell people, you wanna have one in every single room. Or if you've got an L-shaped room, maybe put one in the alcove and one on the other side of the room. Yeah. Because those sound waves, once they hit a solid object, they just bounce back, right. okay? So you wanna keep them out in the open, you wanna yeah. let them go Nobody out Nobody knows the what room. they are anyway. They just, no. they look like a nightlight. Actually, you know what? You they do look like you know, know my friends I, I thought they were uh, part of my security system. Right. Which yes. I love because if, if somebody's peeking in your windows, they see a very faint red light blinking. Red light blinking. They think it's actually a camera yeah. or something like that. But let me, Lou, before we get going, because we have about seven or eight minutes is all we have on this. Okay. Um, I want to remind people, we came in, we had close, we had 8,000. We are down to 900 left. That's so, it. And I'm telling you, dude, just do, do yourself a favor. Try these for 30 days. Yeah. I have had, I've had mine for years. This is the original kit that I bought. And I have them in every room of the house. And let me tell you, I used to see cockroaches in the kitchen. Right, sure. All the time. Like I, and and uh, when you wake up in the middle of the night for a drink, you're like, oh, I stepped on one in the dark. That was the worst Which thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, it's just hard. Right, but, but, but here's the point. Try them for 30 days mm -hmm. and tell me. And I, listen. And Lou will say the same thing. If you have an existing pest control service or whatever, I'm not saying you have to get rid of any of those things. Because let me tell you, 
Right. I have a pest control it. service, and I still was seeing cockroaches. Me too. Because they, they're, that's a bait, feed, and then hope they die somewhere in your house. So you know what I was seeing? Dead cockroaches all over my house. That's not any better. <laughs> that's terrible. This is not We're a solution. Half dead and yeah, that's not a Whoa. solution. This is a solution. Well, do here's this. the thing. This keeps them out <laughs> of the house. They're not coming into your house and dying. They're just not coming in. Or if they do come in, they leave. Now let's talk about the ways that we are used to uh, to uh, getting rid of um, the pests. If you want to play amateur exterminator, there's a million ways to do it. Look at this in front of me here. So if you've got an ant problem, we're taught that we got to go out and buy poisons. We got to spray baits, all kinds of things to get rid of the ants, and that's fine except for the fact that as this stuff wears off, the ants come back. As you use it up, you have to buy more. So you're spending more and more and more money with that. But that only works on the ants. If you've got roaches, you gotta go out and you gotta buy oh, even more stuff, stuff to get rid of the roaches. And it's even heavier duty stuff. But yeah. again, it's poisons and traps and baits and all kinds of things. And again, as it wears off, they come back. And as you use it up, you've gotta rebuy it. So right. it's a vicious cycle with that. The last one, and it's this is the part, you know, when you get into the mammals, the rats and the mice, Ooh. we get really medieval with them. We start coming up with traps where they get stuck and they die of dehydration and starvation. We've got poisons that look like kitty litter or my dog's favorite chew toy. So your kids and the pets, they don't know the difference. Right. You know, and P.S. the rats don't die right away. It takes a week or so and then they die in your walls or your ceiling, your floors and you get this odor the last months, oh you know. Gosh. And then we've got the traditional mouse trap over here, the rat trap as we say. And if you've never baited one of these, this is a nightmare, okay? Because first of all, it's really scary. There's a very strong spring in here, right. okay? The other thing is that when it's baited in the middle of the night, you hear that sound, guess what? You've got to rebate the trap and get rid of whatever's in the trap, the carcass, whatever is yeah. in there. Who's doing that job? With the Bell and Hell pest repellers, you plug them in, you walk away. And they work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. P.S., did you notice nothing on the table in front of me here gets rid of spiders? Right. This yeah. does. All the rest of this stuff, nothing. And nothing. spiders are my worst possible. Oh, for a lot well, of people. Spiders can be poisonous, first of all. And I tell you the story yes. when I was in Arizona at a five-star spa in Arizona, but Arizona has a lot of critters. They have a lot of spiders. They have scorpions. Mm -hmm. They have all that stuff. I lived there for two years, so I know that. But I had one. One bit me on the foot. I was traveling cross-country. I was at a cheap kind of a hotel and I had another one crawl across I could feel it crawl across me and I was like oh and it ran under the bed I couldn't find it and then I couldn't sleep then you couldn't sleep I left I got him left the hotel the dog was with me. I took the dog we backed up I'm like I can't sleep might as well drive yeah. so I, we were going cross country but anyway uh, I I I I digress a little bit. This is this is what you want. You want to be able to plug it in and get instant results. Right. You know, even if you have an infestation and you call somebody, okay, so you got two days of downtime, maybe if the guy can come out that quickly. Then you got to be there for a window of four to six hours or whatever exactly. it is. Then you have to wait another week while all those poisons take effect, especially if you have something like ants. Oh, you know, yeah. I had ants once and the guy was like, uh, he baited, he put this, he put some goo off a, off a container yeah. around corners and he goes, yeah. Yeah, it should be gone like, uh, three or four days. You know, they have to bring it back to the nest. Uh, I'm like, I just don't want... I, I, three or four days too I long. don't want to be a killer. I right. just don't want well, them in it. my house. And these, the minute you plug it in... Yeah, they start working. They start running well, away. And, and let me show you something too because, uh, you know, We've never been able to really show how these work or that they work. And, and what I mean by that is you can't hear them. You can't see them other than that right. little red light. But I've got this device. And this is a device, is an ultrasonic leak detector. And they use this for natural gas pipelines when there's a leak in them, but it comes out under such high pressure, it makes an ultrasonic sound wave. So this will actually hear an ultrasonic sound wave. Now we've got one unit plugged in front of me here. Watch if I come around the front here and I, pu I put this over here and I turn it on. Every time there's an ultrasonic pulse, you're gonna see a little red LED light Bounce cool. back and forth. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So this is actually hearing the ultrasonic sound wave that this is emitting. So that's proof positive right there that this is sending out that ultrasonic sound wave that is going to annoy the pests. And P.S., it's not just Guy and I standing here saying these work on these five species. Bell and Howe went out, spend a boatload of money yeah. to have independent third-party laboratory testing done on these so we could say that, but it, we had to pay per species. So, you know, basically it's so expensive. They said, let's pick the five things most people get. So rats, right. mice, ants, roaches, and they're dreaded spiders, both venomous and non-venomous varieties. I've had, listen, I had, when I first moved into my yeah. house up in the attic, there were some rats sure. up in the attic, poor guy that was up was there. Was it the was, uh, pack rats? The ones that build yeah, things? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so this crazy. is, so the guy comes up, well, it was the guy that was putting in a new air handler. Okay. And he comes down and he just looks at me and goes, hey, uh, by the way, I just thought you should know. I'm like, what? And the last thing I thought he'd say, he goes, I came face to face with a pretty big rat up in the attic. My whole body, like, no. turned, I was like, I had the hair on my, oh. I was like, oh my God. Oh, you it's repulsive. Get, because I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, and he goes, and I think they've been up there for a while because there's a lot of droppings right. and stuff up there. Uh, and I'm, and I, I tell you, it really, I felt like selling the house. And I'm like, yeah. and he goes, no, no big deal, man. He goes, you know, if you've 
you've got a pest control company, they'll charge you a little. You know what they charge me to do the how attic? Much? How much? Eleven hundred dollars <laughs> to clean the attic. Yeah. yeah. And and seal it. Well, they had to seal the exterior of the house because they were climbing. Because they were coming in. They were coming in from underneath. Sure. And they were going up through the walls and they were getting up into the attic. <laughs> it cost the whole thing cost me about eighteen hundred bucks to have it done. Ooh. And and if you have an outlet up in your attic. Right, you can plug that outlet in, and nothing's going to want to be there. So you put one. You, you you recommend like floor by floor, floor by floor, room couple by on, room, couple in each one. Here's the big problem, okay? By the time you get to the stage where you need all the poisons and stuff that I'm holding right here, you yeah. have an infestation, okay? Because we don't notice them sometimes when there's just like one ant or one roach or you know maybe there's that one rat that's in the garage. It's when you see a couple of them, okay? That's when you got to start to wonder how many do I actually have in my basement, in my attic, in the walls, okay? These pest repellers are going whoops these pest repellers are going to take care of that for you and notice you could put these in your bedrooms your dogs won't care about them your cats no. are going to care about them around food don't worry about it unlike poisons nothing in here to hurt you it's just sound it's science and i want to tell you i don't care if you live in the country where you got a lot but p.s it's springtime anybody notice that so, yeah. so allegedly it's yeah. springtime in the spring we get a lot more pests why because love is in the air right. they're out there making more pests they're gonna we're gonna get a lot more of them so yeah. you want to get in front of this you want to get these in your home and you want to start repelling these pests now. And if you live in the city, you got your, you know this, you've got your own set of problems. Right. Neighbors living above you, below you, next to you. I mean, you don't know how other people live. When you've got the pest repellers, you can control your environment yeah. and set up like a little force field within your well, living space. And let me tell you something. Mm. I would much rather see that on a wall than a trap on the floor. Oh, yeah. And, it, you know, and I, let me tell you something. You know, we're here in Florida. How many, how many times has this happened to you where you go to a restaurant yeah. and you look at the exterior and oh. you see a big rat house out? Yeah. Side, right? Yeah. And it's the nicest places. But it's it's a problem that's out of control. But they have to do it. They have to. And plus, you know, you can't utilize these outdoors. So that's why they try to eliminate the problem right. before it comes in. Right. We eliminate the problem from the inside. So that so basically you, you've got a you're building a jail that you live in, which is good. It's a yeah. it's a critter jail. That's fine with me. You can get out, critters can't get in, so there's no issue there. But if you don't like cockroaches and you don't like spiders, and hey, maybe you like spiders, but you don't want to lay next to one. Right. I get it. Uh, obviously, you don't like rice or, ma or rice, mice or rats or rice or mats. Uh, you don't <laughs> like ants. And ants, you know, once you get ants and they're all over you, they're yeah. like in your cupboards. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it, it's that, bad. When you get an infestation like that, yeah. that, that's when you start to panic. And you're getting enough here to do every bad. single nobody room. Would, nobody would come to the to, to the Gallo Van Pad if nobody they thought wants it was to go infested. There. They'd be like, don't go there. He's unkempt. <laughs> He's <laughs> unkempt. This is a way to be able to do the job and do it discreetly uh, yep. without hurting anything. Plug them in. And, and even, I even like the fact that you're not even killing, you know, you're not killing animals no. because your it's point, too, and I'll bring up one last point. Go. Uh, ran restaurants for years, as you know. Yeah. We we had that exact problem where we had a well, we had a rat that ate the poison and went behind a wall and died. We had to gut we had to gut out the wall and uh, it was in there uh, and it yeah. died in there. In my in my first apartment that I lived in, it was a, it was a guest house on oh, an yeah. estate. Yep. And I had do you know I had a rat eat a hole through the wall through the wallboard behind the refrigerator and was going into my garbage at night. Oh. And the only reason I found it is I saw little trails of stuff and I pulled the refrigerator away. I saw the hole. There was a hole this big. Yeah. I. Could have jumped they off can get the planet. Anything. It was so bad. Yeah. So here's just a way keep, to be able to take care out. of all that. Keep Don't say out. goodbye to this guy because he's got another great problem solver for you as we continue to do it yourself. That stair climbing thing is, is it's really pretty awesome, cool. right? It's our customer. You're going to love see. it. Stick around. Be right back. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that. The possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com.
So if you check this product out on our HSN website, it's a pretty new product. It's already got perfect five-star yeah. reviews on yep. hsn.com. Why? Because I think it's an awesome. issue most of us have out there, especially if you carry uh, packages and parcels and things like that around your house. If you're a senior, uh, you know, you feel you don't feel real comfortable walking groceries or boxes and things up and down stairs. This is a way to do it. This is like having a little helper wherever you go. It's from Quadrec. It's called the Multi-Terrain Stair Climber. Right. Look at how that thing folds up and packs away. I love that too because a lot of people, that. you know, anybody can buy a dolly, but then you got a big dolly hanging exactly. around. Exactly. You're not going to keep that in your kitchen. This thing is amazing. We have it in colors. You can either buy it in the red right. or buy it in the black. This handles any kind of terrain, whether it's steps or stairs or going down to your garage, Pavers, your basement. cobblestones, right? gravel, grass. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So this is what it looks like when it's compacted. And we made it so awesome. that you could put this in the trunk of your car, the back seat, wherever you need to. Slide it between a couple cabinets. It'll fit anywhere. It weighs about eight pounds. So if you can pick up a jug of milk, you can lift this. Um, when you look at this, it's about four, four and a half inches wide when it's compacted. When I open it, I just grab the skid on the front of this just like a regular dolly and you pull it down like that awesome. and it opens so when you look at the side you've got three wheels over here at any given time when you're carrying a load there's always two wheels in contact with a surface either with a floor or a stair yeah. or whatever you're going up now I'm gonna come around to where you are because I want to show I'm gonna move this guy out of the way watch how okay. easy by the way this is to move That's so just awesome. move that out of the way I'm gonna put this guy down here it has three positions on the handle okay so we are now in what I call the compacted position so it's all the way down if I grab the top handle right here and I squeeze it'll go into the first position so if you're a shorter person it'll lock into place pull it again and it comes all the way up so, so it has three positions there's one and there's the bottom all the way down very very simple so when you fold it up you can actually put this away very very easily we give you the bungee cord that's on here it's coming with this bungee cord so if you have loads on here that you want to store you can absolutely do that now I'm gonna show you the magic though I'm gonna go to the stairs back here behind me and I want you to see something okay when I come up to these stairs now now let's say you just went to the grocery store and you got a load of stuff that you need to take with you, okay? I'm gonna come over to the stairs and I want you to watch the wheels on the dolly because as I pull this up, look at the way the wheels climb those stairs. You see what's happening? They're climbing up the stairs just like that. that so is... I can come all the way up here like this and notice there's always two wheels on the surface for going down the stairs. And this is like just, you know, for little things, like if you got dog food, oh my or maybe you're bringing firewood into the house for your fireplace, look how easily it does that. <laughs> and I'm not dragging it up and down the stairs. And it's very one simple to do. Yeah. Cool. And well, I want you to see something too. Watch this. Go ahead. I have two fingers on here. Now, yeah. normally with a dolly, it fights you. It wants to go this way, it wants to go this way. With the Quadtrek uh, stair climber, look at this. Two fingers to move this, and there's there's Man. stuff in these bins. Well, 300 of you have already picked it up. Good look for you. That. I know you're gonna love this. I, I think of, I was thinking of my mom and her husband, John, mm -hmm. and I was thinking when they bring groceries in, you know, and they have to take, they have to go one at a time because the groceries are heavy. Sure. Or if you've got, uh, like, if you have cat litter boxes mm -hmm. and you need to buy cat litter, you know how heavy cat yeah. litter is? Because it's a sand-based product. I, I don't care um, if it's grocery bags whatever. or whatever it is. Look Walk. at that, Lou. Yeah. Look how it walks its way. And you know what? The quality of this is different than it's some of the others so out there. It's so nice, isn't it? That was, the wheels are a hard, kind of galvanized rubber right. uh, versus cheapo plastic wheels. Look how the wheels f uh, fold away right. and tuck away when you close it up. Well, and look you at what we've got. Weight weight on I got a lot of weight on here because we all know the kitty, a, 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 a box of kitty litter, or a, a bucket of kitty litter, rather, weighs a lot. Plus, we've got the water on here. We've got some detergent. And I want you to see how easy it is for me to wheel this and also how this pivots because there are those two yeah. wheels on the grounds at all times it's very very simple for me to carry a very heavy load like this so you know if you're someone and this is especially for folks that maybe have you know problems with mobility or maybe you just can't carry heavy loads like this you know what you can do is you can get that little skid on the bottom underneath it and just tip this back and now all of a sudden this doesn't weigh anything to me I mean this is just Lou, like really simple how much can it hold it'll hold up to 150 pounds all right so that see that's a big deal too yeah. because I know some of the others that you might have seen up there yeah, are look like at up this. to 50 pounds, yep. which is a third of the weight because they're made of cheapo plastic. This thing is industrial, and you'll see you've got aluminum, you've got uh, you know co co um, composite materials in here to make it nice and strong. Yep. I love that the bungee look, and look at this two fingers comes with it. Yep. Yeah. Look how easy. Yeah, and you get the bungee cord with this as well. And the amount of weight that I've got on here right now, I mean, this is five gallons of paint. We know that weighs a ton, okay? Right. But it's so simple for me to move all this around. So thinking about when you go to the big box store, maybe you're one of the 
those folks out there that, you know, it's spring, we're moving our plants around. This is a great way to move plants around either inside the house mm -hmm. or maybe out on your property. Really, really simple to do. And you've always got those two wheels on the ground. So again, I've got two fingers on here moving this around, okay? It's that easy for me to do. Why? Because it's balanced. It's not fighting me. Now, you've got that big bag of dog food right in front of you here. And this is the thing, if you've got a big dog and you're going out and buying these bags, I love my big dog, but you know what? Not loving the dog food bags. This is the easy way, even if you take it into the store yeah. with you. Because remember, this collapses down, and I'll show you that again in a second. It's really simple to carry this, even if it's just carrying it over a curb right. or just that couple of steps from your garage into the house. This is how you want to do it. I'm going to come down here and grab this guy because I want to show you this one more time. Remember, this is not always this size. It doesn't always have this footprint. I can grab this handle right here and squeeze this. And when I squeeze that, it disengages the locks. And I can push this down into the two different positions on the handle. When it gets to the bottom like this, all I'm going to do is just push that up like that that's and so that's cool. the whole size right there and it only weighs about as much as a you know, jug of milk you might want to keep this in your car be a good oh, idea sure. if you have an rv and you know you know when you have an rv and you go on vacations and you need to bring stuff in and out because you can walk it up the stairs of the steps of the rv as well and it folds it folds relatively flat so if it you really need a storage does. a store you can it's built very well which is why it can hold up to 150 pounds we now have 700 of you have spoken for uh that's a third of the quantity i only have about 13 or 1400 remaining um and you can say whether you're a big guy or a shorter person, uh, it doesn't matter. And, and it doesn't matter the size of the stair because what it does is we, we talk about the two wheels. The two wheels will walk it up the surface of the front part yeah, of the stair. Yeah, it walks it right up the stairs. And if the stair is higher, it doesn't matter. It'll, it'll wheel itself right. as high. Look at and that. And then when it hits the threshold, it crosses over. See what it does? And those yeah. wheels actually just angle themselves as I go up and down. So I've always got two wheels in contact with the surface of the stairs. Whether I'm going up the stairs, or I'm going down the stairs. And these are full bins that I've got on here. So, you know, if you're going to the storage unit and you're bringing home Christmas decorations or whatever it is, look at the way this just walks down the stairs. Yeah. It's, it really is the safest way and, to and do I, this. And the way you did that, I, I, I hope you folks at home saw it too, is Lou kind of keeps his one arm back, one arm forward as right. he's going down. Balance. And one step at a time. So it's a much more stable. The last thing you want to do is start tumbling over your stuff and you're hurting yourself. So it's a great way to be able to do that. I especially like how you did this plant because you know plants are not only heavy but they're awkward and they're, yep. and they're not balanced really well you know they're, they're they're difficult to port around and look at how easily if you love you know if you want to bring your plants uh, you know outside onto the deck or whatever you can take them right out you can position them where out. you want right because you've got the skin on the bottom that's flat right just like a you know one on a regular dolly would be right and look how we've got the bungee cord on this as well remember the bungee cord is included yeah, use it any so way we got, you want. yeah any way you want to so we've got the plant down there now with the fire I don't need the bungee, but this is the thing about this firewood, okay? This is the kind of thing that I used to take and I try to lug this to my backyard because yeah. I've got a fire pit in the backyard. Here's the problem. When I when I pull in with my truck, I've got concrete in the front. I got a ton of grass I got to go over right. and then I got cobblestones in the backyard. Well, guess what? This will do the concrete. It'll go over the grass and it'll do the cobblestone. So now instead of me carrying this everywhere, yeah. I can just use it this way. Now, when you're talking about something like, um, look at that, and that's, that's a bunch of firewood. When yeah, you're talking yeah. about something like right here, I'm gonna slide this guy forward, all right? For your um, propane gas, okay? For your barbecue grills, this is the smart way to do it. This doesn't weigh a whole lot now because I think it's only and, about a quarter and you full. you would bungee that, obviously. I would bungee it, I would yeah. bungee it if I were doing it for real. But I mean, for our purposes right here, look right. at the way I can just wheel this around. What about even coolers, like heavy oh, duty? Yeah. You know, Absolutely. You know, when you're bringing a cooler somewhere and you need to transport it to a picnic or sure. whatever, having this in the trunk of your car and being able to pull that out whenever you need it, uh, to lose point, groceries, firewood, uh, the things that are Look heavy. That. And you know what? If it's 150 pound anything at your house, you can still use it as a traditional dolly. Absolutely. Right? Even if you're just moving stuff from point A to point B, it could be, uh, you know, a side table, right? Or a little mini dresser that weighs 60 pounds yeah. and it's uncomfortable. Just put it on there. And just put it on there and wheel it up. And you see how it goes up even large stairs like that. Any stairs that you need oh, to. Yeah. It could be the Those curb. things are tough. Even the little ones. Yeah. yeah. The just just the threshold of going in. Yeah. If you got to put in those big water bottles. I mean, just yeah. think about all the heavy things that you have to carry.
carry. If you, you know, and if you're trying to roll stuff, not everybody has a dolly out there. And even if you do, it's not convenient to take it with you. You can take this with you anywhere just by folding down that handle and then folding up the wheels just like that. So there you are, four and a half inches across, only weighs the eight pounds. You can take this with you anywhere you go. When you want to open it, you just grab the bottom, it pops open. You got the three wheels. To Guy's point, these are incredibly smooth rolling wheels on here. Look at this. And they're rubber coated all the way around, so they're not going to scuff any Quiet. surfaces. Yeah, and they're very well, quiet. And, and Lou, the other the other ones that we've seen out there have plastic wheels, and they're not meant to hold a lot of weight. No. Um, if you look at what I have on here, and by the way, just so you know, everything in here is full. Yes, that's <laughs> all real. I can attest to that. This is all real stuff. Lou didn't dump out anything. These are all solid, full. Yeah. You yep. hear that? Yep. That's full. There's there's 35 pounds, I think, at least in the bottom That's there. That's the real deal right uh, there. You've probably got 10 pounds here. you got another five. I mean, this is, and you know what's funny? This is only probably about 50 or 60 pounds. Right. But look at how easily, and I and no, and notice too that I don't have to bend over because we have it we have it raised up so that the level is good for me. The handle's adjustable. And, and you can manipulate it easy. I'll put look it right back in its little parking spot here. Yeah. And you can see how easily I did that. You know, listen, this and is one of those ones you should, you get at home. I, look the first at thing you're going to say when you get at home you see is how well it's made. Yeah. Because that's Very the big sturdy. difference. Even the handle, they galvanized, rubberized the handle. Yeah. You don't have to do that normally, but they did that to make it more comfortable. Well, the skid on this is steel, okay? You've got aluminum on the back of this. I mean, it's all aluminum construction. Yeah. You know, then of course you've got the plastic on the wheels here, but it's a very heavy plastic with the rubber edges on this, which are gonna be high impact, and they're gonna allow you to take it up and down the stairs without scuffing anything. And the whole thing works so smoothly. You're gonna get this home and be like, my gosh, this is so well made. It's such a great design, the way those wheels pop out with the handles. I'm going to do the stairs one more time because I think that at the end of the day, that's what we really want this for. So if I've got my heavy load here, I've loaded it up at the car. We've just come from the big, you know, big box store and I'm getting up to the house here. Now, ordinarily with a regular dolly, I might have to stop here and start picking these up and loading them like uh, one by one. When I've got my stair climbing dolly here, watch this. I just line it up to the sides of the stairs and look at the way those wheels rotate just to walk up those stairs, okay? Right up to that landing, and then back down again. I mean, look at that. You can see the yeah. way that they're spinning. You know, this is one of those tools. Isn't that cool? It's one of those do, do, sort of DIY tools that really, really makes a difference for folks out there that want to that get empower one. themselves yes. again, you know? Especially if you're a senior and you think, you know, because things, hey, listen, it is what it is. Bending over and lifting heavy things as you get older, at, right. at my age, lose age, whatever, it doesn't get any easier. It gets no. harder, right? Yes. And, and so, and believe me, the, the less times you and you were I yeah. need to bend over while lifting something because the last thing he needs to do or I need to do you know, with, with our line of work is be out. That's true. <laughs> and not be able to work, and That's nothing true. is worse than hurting your back. So if you are concerned about things like that, you know, I don't want to throw my back on, I don't want to hurt myself, I want to do it right, it makes sense to use a dolly. And this Quadrac portable dolly, trolley, dolly, yeah. trolley, whatever you want to call it, yeah. will will make your life so much easier. And that's really, and, and I Simple. think it also, it'll, you don't have to rely on other people all no. the time for well, stuff. And see, that's Moving the something thing. from here to here. Well, you're right. And if you look <laughs> at the stuff that we have out in front of us here, there's nothing exotic or strange or unusual here. I mean, we've got kitty litter. We've got water. These are things you use every right. day. We've got paint and more water. Again, stuff you're going to buy. Moving your plants around. You want to be able to do that without having that's, to ask for help. And that's a really, the plant especially, I for love that because. Pet. My, I, I know my mom has asked me to move a plant like four feet. Right. And she can't do that herself. Right. Whereas if with this plant, all you do, right, if the plant is sitting there, you work, you work your little dolly trolley. It's bungee now. It's bungee, yeah. You work your little dolly trolley under it. Yeah. Lean it back. Yeah. Move it where you it. want it. Couldn't be any drop easier. Drop it. Just kick it off, and then that's all that and you need And then fold up do. the dolly and put it yeah. away. And that's the thing. You're not giving so up real loop. estate in your garage, yep. you know, so you can have a big really mover's somebody. dolly. It really helps No, somebody. I really think it will, you know. <laughs> and even things like your firewood, your propane, the charcoal for your grill, stuff that you enjoy, stuff that you yeah. like to do. If you're at that point now where you're like us, where you're like, you know what? I don't want to carry a 50-pound bag of dog food. I want to carry... good for any age. I, listen, any I, age. Hey, I, my son's... I wish my, I had this when I was younger. My son's 16. <laughs> he doesn't want to lift a 50-pound <laughs> bag out of my truck. Uh, you know, so, so, and it, you'll see how easy it goes over different terrains as well. Uh, we're down to our last minute. If you would like to get this home for $19.99, uh, take advantage of FlexPay. If you want another $10 off, um, my producer Kyle reminds me very often that we have our $10 uh, credit card offer. Nice. So if you want to get a new H10 card, make it $69.95. You can do that uh, and uh, upon approval, get your $10 off. So it's a great way to really empower yourself. The whole hour has been kind of like, you know, making life easy. Making it simple. And, and you know, if you could do a few things yourself, by the end of the year, 
all this stuff that we had in the show would be paid for, <laughs> yeah. right? Including those, and, and you know what, I wanna talk about the really quickly, because I know we're running out of time, but I wanna talk about the pest repellers really quick that Lou had too. Yeah. Those were hugely popular. And this is an eight pack. Lou, tell everybody really quick, what, 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 are, these, what are these gonna do for me? These use ultrasonic sound waves to get rid of rats, mice, ants, roaches, and spiders from the localized area in which they're working. And you don't have to ever buy anything again. There's no poisons. Guy, there's nothing you ever have to clean or replace. You just plug them in, you forget they're there. You walk I, away. You know what? <clears throat> I love it, and I love the fact that I don't have to spread fo uh, poison around my house for my family. And you know, listen, I just got Danny, but if you've got pets and you've got kids or oh, your yeah. grandkids are coming over, let me tell you the, the horrific tragedy, you know, of what can happen if kids get their hands on poison. I don't need oh, to yeah. tell you that. So in my, or your pets, right? You know, your pet's sick all day. How do you know what your pet? I talked to somebody I've known yesterday. people whose pets died from, from eating No, I talked poison. to somebody yesterday whose dog yeah. got into cap, into uh, rat poison. Yeah. And they paid $1,200 for the vet bills. Yeah, yeah. And, and the dogs, and, the dogs are gonna get better. lucky that they got it in time. They because, are. Because, you know, it was it's, a a way, it's a way to eliminate all that stuff and make your life easier. Yeah. All right, Lou, you're amazing. Thank you Thanks, so buddy. much. Appreciate, appreciate all your help in the show. Absolutely. Uh, if you're looking now, we're going to switch gears. If you're looking for something soft and cozy and comfy, you got to check out our today's special.